Hello, my name is Sudhanshu. Welcome to this session that discusses more efficient creation of work orders or work activities from GIS Map Viewer, available in the 22A release in the Oracle Utilities Work and Asset Cloud Services. In this session, we will talk about this new feature and how it can impact your business. I will give you an overview of this feature followed by more detail to explain how you would use it and the benefits to your business. Then we will walk you through a demonstration. Finally, I will provide you with some additional resources. Now we are going to talk about the business value this feature provides. In past, it was a tedious task to create a work order or work activities from the GIS map viewer, which involves navigation through multiple screens. You need to first select the option of creating a work order or work activity. Next involves the selection of the activity type to be navigated to the work order creation screen, which will need quite a few mouse clicks. Post creation of work order header, you will add an activity which involves navigation to the activity creation screen, possibly populate more fields and finally have a work order and activity. With this new enhanced capability, you can create a work order or work activities from the GIS map viewer without navigating to the work order or work activity portal. GIS map viewer is also enhanced to have a new capability of creating a work orders using template work order. This demonstration shows you how efficiently work orders or work activities gets created from the GIS map viewer. This is the home page of a work and activity cloud service application. You will find it different in look and feel as with 22A release, we have adopted Redwood theme, a new Oracle standard for application look and feel. You will find that the dashboard area is moved from the right hand side to the left. More icons in application toolbar and much more new components that enhance the user experience. Now we will navigate to JS Map Viewer. The look and feel and icons of JS Map Viewer is now on the Redwood style. Now we will select some of the assets in the GIS map view. As part of this feature, we have broken the existing create work action into two actions, create work order and create work activity. When you click on the create work order, a pop-up window will come which will list all the selected assets which you have selected on the GIS map viewer. You will see there are a couple of new inputs uh, um, above the asset list which is work order description. You need to select the work priority. And then you need to select the activity type. You have an option to create an individual activity per asset or location as yes or no. You have the list of assets with one as a primary asset. And once click on continue, system will generate the work order and work activity. And you can see a work order got created with all the activities in a planning status. Unlike past, you don't need to navigate multiple screens to create work order or work activities. Now let's try to create an activity for an existing work order. Let's go back to the asset tab. You need to click on the create work activity. So here you need to first select the activity type 
you have option of creating an individual activity per asset location, yes or no, and then you need to select the work order. You can see the, in the list of all the assets which you have selected in the GIS map viewer. Once click continue, the system will generate the activities and associate those activities with the selected work order. And the activities got created for that work order. We have also introduced a new functionality of creating a work order using template. We have created a new icon of creating a work order from template. You will find this new icon with the available list of actions against an asset. When you click on this new icon, a pop-up window will come asking you about the template work order. You can either use the existing search option of template work order or in case you know the template work order number you can directly type in and press enter system will go and look for the template work order and bring the details directly over here now you can see that you will see the template activities which is associated to that particular asset location you need to select the template activity against which you want to create the work order and activity. You have an option of copying the asset location cost center. And once click on the add, system will generate the work order and work activity using the template work order. And you can see that an activity got created. With this, our demonstration of more efficient creation of work orders or work activities from GIS Map Viewer is over. There are a couple of more slides. Let's go back to the slides. For additional information about this feature, see the Oracle Utilities Work and Asset Management User Guide on Oracle Health Center, which is available at docs.oracle.com. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.